Welcome back to Let's Play Trouble with Exile Warriors 2. Last time we started Canucks and we got our sword downgrade. Fan freaking tastic. Now we can do things like that. Yay! Hooray and yippity dee. Okay, so. We need to head back up to the warp place. It's probably the easiest way to get there. And let's go orange. Uh, aren't you glad I didn't say banana, huh? Okay, so there's one little thing we can do over here, which I don't wanna, cause it's really annoying. Okay, but I think I know the way. If you don't know the way, it can be really, really annoying. And it was even more annoying before, but I sort of made it a bit easier. Oh no, this is my think I'm thinking of something else. Okay, never mind. Well, we can get another key over here, I think. Now it's gonna take like one and a half times longer to kill this guy, because that's how Yay! my sword's only two thirds as strong. Yeah, I got a key. I guess I was thinking the wrong place. It was the other one. Um, shoot, where was that? Can I get there from here, or is it from gray? Okay, it's from gray. Gray is the annoying place that I don't want to go. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's go over here and use our crappy sword on the crappy crystal thingy. Blech. And we have a raft maze! Hooray! So we want to go here. Anytime you see a light patch of uh, water like that, it means you can turn on it, so... I think the only thing you have to remember is just hit right all the way over to here, and then take this one up. I think hold up here? Yeah, there we go. Oh no! Crazy bat and a ghost. Gini thingy. All right, there we go. Uh oh, stuck out there. Um, yeah, I think the walls there are like no flying enemies, so <laughs> or no enemies. There are no enemy combos for some reason. I don't know why. That's why the bats can't float around up there. Okay, so. Uh, let's go back to orange now. This is probably the fastest way. Yeah, 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 keep belching. Find you highly disgusted. So now we can go for a little dip in the drink. get belched on. Okay, so now if we head up here and get hit by Zoras. The Zoras are actually a little bit stronger than they normally are. That's why they're actually doing some kind of damage to me. Although it's not much. Okay, so now going up here, we should have enough keys and all that stuff to get to the top. Let's see. Oh yeah, we've about cleared everything. Those uh, blank squares in the upper right are just sort of paths you can take in the raft maze, but they don't really lead anywhere, so... thought I would just go get the keys 
smoothly as possible. Not waste a lot of time over there. Okay, so... So it's just you. Hey. Ow. Ow. Ow! Oh, come on. You only had one hit left. Okay, so that's the last, or the boss key. And that is not Furore's Wind. But it's pretty cool anyways. Uh-oh. Get off the potion. Okay, so now it's boss time. This boss is kind of tough. Actually, it won't be too bad. I know I, like, beefed him up a lot. Just his weapons. So he shoots his swords out in eight directions. So be careful, because his swords will hurt a lot. Might be one of the most powerful attacks in this quest. See? Ow! That hurt. There we go. Doo 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 doo. All right, so, hmm. Ah, you can see my head through the waterfall. So I'm not sure where the other piece of heart was. And you know what? I don't really care. I'll go through the last level anyways. Let's go there right now. Be faster if I use Furore's Wind. Get back first screen and head on up here. Raptors. Last level. Yay! No! Okay, so this level is basically... Boss Gauntlet. Now I have my weaker arrows against these guys. And I think there are four of them. And I'm weaker too. Let's see. Dang. Okay, I got one of them. So there's still three of them. Looks like there's one left. There we go, nice. Although I'm down four hearts, and it's only gonna get worse from here. Three of these guys, oh my gosh, and they hurt. Shoot. This is why you're gonna want the potions. This is like kid stuff right now. I mean, just wait. Okay. Wow. Shoot. Okay, I need my potion. Right now. This is the last one. Looks like it. Much easier with a sword beam. Okay, and just a Moldorm here. No big deal. My sword's making little Z's. This is one long ass Moldorm. Man. I guess he must have had like a, a lot of initial HP, but once you whittle down some of the heads, it's gonna go down pretty quickly. Ow. Ow, 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 holy cow! Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm in a bad spot, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, here we go. 
Okay. Oh no! Man! Yay! Link, you're a little too enthused about that. But all these bosses are, you know, permanent death, so... You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. Oh no! This is the bad one, isn't it? Oh man. This is the one that's gonna make like a million Dig Dogger kids and the Dark Nuts, not the Dongos. Damn it! I know you told me not to be stupid, but I'm a moron. I can't help it. Sorry. Oh. I didn't want to die. I was trying to get rid of the damn Dig Dogger kids. The damn Dig Dogger delinquents. Okay. Come on, Beavis and Butt Butthead, give me some luck. You go Iron Man on your ass, the Dongo, the Dig Dog, the Doogie. Doogie Hauser. No! Oh my gosh! I just... Ugh. Man, I'm so dead. Holy cow! Oh my gosh. I have, like, no choice, no chance here. Ugh. Oh, fairy. Because I'm, like, basically down to the white sword here. Uh. Okay. Oh, fairy! Fairy! Oh, 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 oh. Definitely one of the worst bosses. I'm already down two potions, and we have Lad Molas! Great! Oh, man. Almost have one down. Almost have two down. Yeah, the one change I made to Land Mole is that each segment will not give you an item, just the final one. You know, if you're if it actually does drop an item, it might not. There we go. All right. Oh boy. Oh no. Shoot. No, not this guy. Level two Patra. Whoa, 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 back off, back off, back off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, back off. Uh, actually, I think these guys have 12 heads, don't they? I'd have to check. Looks like more than 10. Okay, still good. Ooh. I know there's a health refill coming up, so if I can just kill this guy, I'll be I'll be good. Yay! Yay! All right, go away, fire. Thank you. Whoa. What's so funny, man? Yay, full health, okay. Oh no. I have to come to this. Blue land molas now. Oh no. Am I kinda safe here? Maybe. Uh, you're safe as long as you just don't stop swinging your sword, I guess. And having the lower sword and the lower ring really does make a difference. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. K. 
Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Man, I'm gonna die already. Game's too hard. Okay, is that the second room in this? No, it's the first. Dang it. Oh no, these guys again. Okay, just... Whoa. Stay away from me, man. No, don't go down there. Let me kill one of them, please. Oh, I'll stay away. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky that guy didn't fire at me. Oh. Okay, good. Only one left. These guys don't respawn, so that's really great. All right, that is all for the wind nuts. Thank goodness. Now I just have to deal with this Goma. Ah, oh, wind nuts are gone. So happy. Okay. Ow. Okay, I need to kill this guy and end this video off. Been having so much fun that I haven't noticed the timer. Although it doesn't really matter, does it? But I don't want the last part to be too short, you know? Okay. A few more hits. Hopefully. Oh, how much damage does this guy do? A lot? Ow? I don't want to die after putting in all this work. Man. Ow. Shoot. Yay! Yay! So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Trouble with Exiled Warriors. I will see you in the next episode where we finish the game.